It was a Tuesday night in 2012 and a much slimmer Ian, sporting a flannel shirt with two sizes too small, girls Primark jeans, <laughs> and his bird's nest hair, stood out the bar in Liquid Nightclub, insisting to me that he was going to leave the lads and find a girl from work. I thought best of luck. He spilt most of his drinks down him, he looks in absolute state. As the night went on, it's perhaps an understatement that I was giving Ian a bit of stick for, for leaving the lads. So after a few pieces of text later, I said, show me what the fuss is all about. And a few moments, there you were. Emerging from the crowds with Ian stumbling behind you, <laughs> with his big cheesy grin. As Ian did his best to muster up a sentence and introduce, I suppose. It was as clear then as it's clear now that he was absolutely crazy about you. We first both met at home base where we worked at the time. Um, I had my bird's nest hairdo. Hannah was once awarded the best into town. Uh, we didn't really head it off until one night out and suddenly over the next few months we were inseparable. Anna, I give you this ring. Ian, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. And as a pledge of our marriage. And as a pledge of our marriage. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And I promise to love, respect, and cherish you always. And cherish you always.
Um, I was more nervous, well, sorry, I was very nervous asking Hannah to marry me, and I couldn't really string a sentence together at the time, a bit like now. Um, <laughs> but I was more nervous asking for Kevin's blessing. Um, it's a difficult thing to collar your future father-in-law without raising alarms. So luckily this did come easy over having some food and uh, dinner at the Parfits. So when Kevin went into the kitchen for more beef and broccoli, I thought, right, now's my chance. So I followed him and thought, I'll go for it. So I always did think that it would be remembered more elegantly, but I'll never forget Kevin's handshake followed by spoonful of spuds. Um, I've been lucky enough to have two dads throughout my life. And I want to say thanks to my old man over there. Um, sorry, yeah. So just um, thank you for coming from the Wild West and uh, being here today and helping out with the wedding. But I think it would be wrong to pass up on the opportunity to also thank my stepdad sadly is no longer here with us but it's always been there throughout my childhood and everyone over there moving on to my beautiful new wife Hannah so you, know, Dad, <laughs> uh, you always look gorgeous but seriously wow I know I was oh, I almost went in there um, I have gone now so you know you've seen me my best um, so I just want to thank you for saying yes when I was on one knee. Although if I do remember correctly, you did just pick up the ring and took about a thousand photos of your hand. <laughs> As most of you know, it is easy to make fun of him. It's fair to say he's a unique 26 year old. He's a painfully sensible chap who enjoys gardening and is all too comfortable in a pair of linen trousers. A bit of context, the, 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 the airing cupboard was in Hannah's room. And I know it's Hannah's room because it's in block capitals and it says Hannah Parfoot's room. <laughs> and it says, please knock. And if the boiler needs to be turned off, say boiler needs to be turned off. <laughs> and arrangements will be made. And I'm going to finish on a well-known 20th century philosopher called Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> he would say that when you are together, you can think. The day spent with you is my favourite day. So today is my favourite day. <laughs>